Wow, so official. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am I looking to you or to the camera? Um, Just... Well, I have to say my gray suit. Yeah, yeah. Um, gray items. What else is gray? Um, my book. <laughs> I don't know, anything that's gray. Um, the, I mean, the most important thing for me was to you really celebrate 20 years. There's so much work that's gone into the 20 years, and, and then being here in Seoul was important because Seoul has been so supportive over the years. And, but so it was a really good just excuse to come and celebrate and tell everybody how much I appreciate you know, everything that they've done and the loyalty to my collection. You know, it was, it's easy to select because each piece in my collections are so individual and so specific and so special in their own way. And for Seoul, I wanted to, you know, really pick items that were specifically things that have actually been here when they were in the collection. So that's really what you see upstairs. 20 years through Andrew's eyes was really special and I think it's a really special book for everyone to appreciate. Andrew Bolton, he's the best curator in the world and I think the, the most intellectually important person in, in regards to fashion. It's a, it's a, like the perfect way to celebrate the, the 20 years through the book. It's, you know, there's so many moments. There's the first show in Europe in Florence. There's the first men's show in Paris the first women's show in Paris. This last couture show was really important. So there's so many moments that built upon each other. And, but I think the most important moment was 20 years ago when I started. I just wanted to make something that I loved myself. Yeah. And 20 years later, it's, yeah. it is what it is. So you have like a bigger dream than you dream I, I definitely dr dreamed in a way, but I, I also, you know, focused on just making something really beautifully and also to, through each collection, telling the story differently and evolving that gray suit over the years. But most important, just concentrating on making beautiful clothes and telling interesting stories. Well, the animals really came from my dog. It started with my dog, Hector, and then from there, the one collection that I did was Noah's Ark, so it was, that was the reason why there were so many animals. And now it's just become something like a, a nice, fun, novel way of doing a beautiful bag and then, you know, having, showing the, the whimsy in my collections. Well, the, that's why the collections are so important to me, because I do like to take this idea, but then conceptualize it and, you know, tell a story in a totally different way. But it still comes down to where it all starts. No. I illustrate in a way that's more conceptual and and then I, it starts from there and then I work with you know more yeah. workable yeah. sketches from there. For me, I feel like the kind of avant-garde because you have like a, just image your idea and then make some real life mm. with your team. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. And also, um, my favorite person is that Vanessa Friedman. Yeah. And she said that uh, you are only the first breakup menswear designer in America for this in the case. Mm. That's my really favorite phrase. It's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, you like you show the how women's can be. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I mean, I really just wanted to do something that was, that was specific to me and that I liked myself and, but I stayed very true to that. And then working with that idea for men into women's and, you know, just, but, but very true to how I wanted to do it. And I think that's the reason why it, yeah, I mean, the, the, what you see in my shows and the concepts are so important because it makes the classic ideas that much more interesting. So the shows and the conceptual ideas and the avant-garde are so important to what I do. 
I, I mean, I remember being a young designer in it. And now, oh, not a young designer, a new designer. And, you know, the thing is, is it takes a lot of work and, you know, I always just want to encourage them to really want to do what they're doing because there's so much work and it's not always so glamorous, it's not always so fun. And, and success has to be just, you know, really doing something that you love and doing it really well. I think there's, and that's what the world needs to see, that there's so much creativity and there's so many good designers in New York that they just have to do the work that is important to them and, and then the world will see. I think you should be conscious of what's going on, but you have to stay true to yourself and really just make sure that the world sees what you want them to see.